the altar at the Facebook and on the, uh, the YouTube. Uh, a blessed, happy Father's Day. It's recalling that we do have a Heavenly Father. Man. The Father of lights, the Father gives us every good gift, everything that we are. Everything that we are is because of Him. Man. Everything that we're not is because of Him. Man. God bless you. I, I want God bless you. So happy Father's Day, everybody. Man. Man. Amen. God bless you. Let us stand. Let us read a psalm. It's found in Psalm chapter 8, verse Psalm 8, verse 1, 1 through 9 or 1 through 8, I believe. Let us let us read. O Lord, our Lord, how excellent is thy name in all the earth, who has set thy glory above the heavens. Out of the mouth of babes and sons hast thou ordained strength because of thine enemies, that thou mightest fill the enemy and the avenger. <clears throat> when I consider thy heavens, thy works of thy fears, the moon and the stars which thou hast ordained, what is man that thou art mindful of him, and the son of man that thou visitest in him? For thou hast made him a little lower than the angels, and hast crowned him with glory and honor. Thou madest him to have dominion over the works of thy hands. Thou hast put all things under his feet. All sheep and oxen, yea, and the beasts of the field, the fowl of the air and the fish of the sea, and whatsoever passes through the paths of the seas. O Lord, our Lord, how excellent is thy name in all the Amen. Amen. You may be seated. Let us sing High Ground. I'm pressing on. I'm pressing on the upward way. New heights I gain. Be there
done. Amen. Let us continue to worship. Standing on the promises. Amen. Standing on the promises of Christ. Let us stand. We're going to go to the thanksgivings, the petitions, the offerings. How many are happy or have a thanksgiving? Say, Thank you, Lord, for the breath of life. Uh, <coughs> maybe it took a little longer to get out of the bed, but <laughs> or, or whatever it may happen. Uh, uh, but the Lord is gracious, He's good, He's faithful to His word. He loves his children. Amen. He loves us. And he loves you. Once again, happy Father's Day to all those that are watching, those that are here. Happy Father's Day. <clears throat> we 
I'd also like to thank God for happy Father's Day. <laughs> Amen. Uh, our Heavenly Father. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Uh, we, uh, I have only one written down petition. Uh, those that have a petition. If you don't have a petition, take your neighbor prayer to the Lord. Uh, you can take me to prayer if you want. <laughs> take, take your brother, your sister, each and every one of us, one of us in prayer. We have um, Sister Dorjan is asking for prayer for her cousin Sylvia Whitman. <coughs> she, she has stage three kidney failure. We ask that the Lord will, will touch her. <coughs> Let us bow our heads and take these petitions, the ones in your heart and the ones that have been read in the Thanksgivings and to the Lord, also the offering and tithing. Let's bow our heads. <laughs> Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, we humble ourselves, Lord Jesus, coming before the throne of mercy, Lord, asking for mercy, Lord Jesus. Lord, we ask for Sister Sylvia, Lord, Whitman, Lord, that, that you touch her kidneys, Lord Jesus. Create a miracle, Lord, in her body, Lord Jesus. Lord, create a awesome and powerful testimony, Lord, that you're still a healer, Lord. Amen. Lord, you are still Jesus Christ the same yesterday, today, and forever. You are still El Shaddai, Lord Jesus. Lord, we draw nigh unto you, Lord Jesus. Nursing, nursing from you, Lord Jesus. If it doesn't happen at that very moment, Lord, let us draw nigh unto you, Lord, and nurse that strength that we need from you. Let us nurse that healing from you, Lord. That virtue, temperance, patience, whatever it may be, Lord Jesus. Lord, we're before your throne of mercy, Lord, asking for mercy, Lord, for healing, Lord, for peace. Extend your grace to our children, Lord, and to our family members, Lord. Lord, we lift up our children, Lord, we lift up our daughters, we lift up our husbands and wives, Lord Jesus. Lord, may you help and touch their bodies, Lord Jesus. Heal them no matter what it may be, Lord Jesus. Lord, we ask that you create in their bodies the very spoken word, Lord Jesus. Let your Holy Spirit strike that seed of healing, Lord. Fill us with your Holy Ghost, Lord Jesus. Lord, we ask all these things, Lord Jesus, especially for the offering and tithing, Lord Jesus. We thank you, Lord, for all things. We thank you for this place. There's not enough time, Lord, enough, not enough vocabulary for our lips to describe how great your name is, Lord. How powerful you are. How beautiful you are, Lord Jesus. Lord, we present ourselves at the throne of mercy, Lord. Humbling ourselves and raising our hearts up to you, Lord. Take whatever is out of us, Lord Jesus, and make us clean, clean, Lord Jesus. Fill us with your Holy Spirit, Lord Jesus. Lord, hear our prayers, Lord, our humble prayers. Lord, we thank you, Lord. Bless the offering, Lord. And receive your time, dear Lord Jesus. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Isn't he wonderful? Amen. Let's see. Isn't he wonderful? Wonderful. Wonderful. Yes.
may be seated. Sister Liz. Sing, let's talk about Jesus. Amen. Let's talk about Jesus. Amen. Oh, 
Look up to Mama Eagle. Yes. She screams and fans her wings and says, Oh, how great thou art. Papa Eagle does the same thing, Lord. We thank you. Let us look up to you and only to you, Lord, this, this morning. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Amen. Um, we're going to start right away into the reading of the scripture. Um, as you can see, uh, Father of God, I really appreciate the, the song that Brother. Stephen wrote, I read this morning, all of us read Psalms 8, one of, one of my dad's favorite poems. I'm sorry, Psalms. Wow. I used to hear it in Spanish, so I got it memorized in Spanish. Well, at least I have it memorized in Spanish. I heard it so, so many times uh, as a kid. Uh, Fatherhood of God, and the subtitle is Our Father, Jehovah. And you'll understand why I use the term Jehovah there. I don't know if you notice in the psalm it says, Lord, you are our Lord. Yes. It's kind of it's weird, huh? Then one of capital L O, capital O, capital L. Uh, four letters, a tetragrammaton, the four ineffable Man. name that they say you're not supposed to pronounce it because just by pronouncing you can mess it up. You know? That's the way that some Jews believe. And then it says there, Lord, you are our Lord, and capital L, and then lowercase O R D. Babel, Babel. No. Every word means something. Yeah. Can you imagine that? Something. Somebody said that word once, and then it caught on. Yeah, like that. They caught on. So every word has an origin. Every word has a meaning. We have to be careful, cautious about that. What do we say? What we do? Anyway, um, I believe we prayed already. Let's let's uh, start. Let's pray together. Just citing it, I know it by memory, and I messed up a little bit. Um, you know, some of the conjugation I messed up, but let's say the Lord's Prayer. Right. It says like this, after this matter, therefore pray, pray. our Father, Father, Father in charge of heaven, heaven. hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, thy will be done, done in earth, earth as, as it is in heaven. heaven. Give, Give us this day our day day bread. 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 And forgive us our us debts, debts as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Amen. And then he bases that, he goes from that. Jesus says, goes out to forgive us. Wow. It's incredible. Man. It says, for if ye forgive not their trespasses, and as we've heard from Brother Andy Jr., Forgive is to give up the power or perceived power to punish. You know, I forgive, but I'm not going to forget. All right. yeah. uh, I forgive, but you better not try that again. Yeah. Or, so whatever. <coughs> no, it just means you forgive. Then you forget. I mean, forgive means to forget. But if you forgive not, you're not man their trespasses. That's against you. Right. Not against God against you. Neither will your father forgive their your forgive you. I'm saying like this. I'm gonna interject you then. That will neither will your father forgive you your your trespasses. Let me see it. 
I think the whole world already knows in the United States that we're celebrating Father's Day. It's just a talk. I wish I could preach it. I want to preach it someday, but I usually have to get my teachings out of the way first so that I can preach it. But Father, what does the word Father mean? Old English, it's that word there. I'm not even going to try to pronounce it. He who begets a child. Man. The nearest male ancestor. Our father Abraham is not my father. Right? This guy here. Was in this, I'll say like this fifth dimension. Right here. To, to, to your right of Jesus. Right? Is that right? And he's there crying out. Father Abraham. Yes. It wasn't his father. But it's in that sense here, any lineal male ancestor, yeah, that's his father. But the ultimate father is supreme being, God. Is Satan a father? Yes, he's a father of lies. Yes. But uh, an old English is one who exercises parental care over another. Uh, with those of you, when uh, we were studying to be teachers, I was one of the new wave, they called us. We were the new wave of teachers. Old school is gone. You're the new way of teachers. And uh, I had already learned, knew that expression before, but they cited it to us again. In loco parentis, and I thought, yeah, most parentis are loco today. But that's not what they mean. Loco, location, right? One place of parents. So the teachers now become the loco parentis. And they can do whatever they want with the kids nowadays. You've seen that on the news. I'm not going to get into the mushy details or the gory details, as Brother Paul would say. But they're brainwashing our kids, even in kindergarten. Yes. Wow, yeah. that's yeah. right. Great about gender. Yes. yes. They know none of their business. But they can do it because they are in local parents. I'm in place of the parents. I can do it. I'm the parent. I'm the parent here. Not well. They went local in their local parentheses. Mm. Insane, but acting normal. I used to talk to a guy, an engineer at work. I said, you know, you may be normal, but you're not. Um, how did I say this? You may be normal, but you're not sane. I'm saying, I said, no, now the normal, in other words, average person in an insane asylum is crazy. Hmm. That's the normal person. The average, but the sane people are the ones that are, used to be the ones that took care of the um, patients in, in, in asylums. Uh -huh. I'm measuring my words. You know what I'm measuring my words? Uh -huh. Because no matter, I'm under a microscope. And I, I like that. Um, so one who exercises parental could care over another. A teacher could be a father. Yes. Who is a father of psychology? Yes. Father, yes. some people say yes. young, bunch of junk, junk, and the other guys say, uh, what's the guy's name, Bob? Uh, Freud? Frederick Freud or something? Say. Freud. The father of, the father of electricity is actually the first name, William, he gets the last name B, I don't remember. He realized it by, you know, he could get static electricity at yeah. the ancients by rubbing amber. Isn't that beautiful? You rub amber, I like that word, and you get static electricity from amber. <laughs> what is amber? It's a fossilized sap of the evergreen tree. <laughs> I love that. Every word means something. Every one of those words just take off on any one of those words. And, uh, so one who exercises parental control over another from Proto-Germanic is father, uh, Proto-Indo-European, is our language comes from the, from the Sanskrit, eventually takes different paths, comes close to Germany, comes down to English. The other one takes a little turn over there, Latin, takes Latin, goes to the Romance languages, and finally we have Espanol. But Proto-Indo-European, -Indo Peter, Peter, Pater, Peter, Peter, Father, okay? Anyway, enough of that. Is we, you get the idea of what Father is? 
Right. Yeah. So uh, this our subtitle is Father, our Father, Jehovah. Right. You'll see why uh, it, those of us that were in August uh, there in Albuquerque, we heard Brother Steve Robson preach on, on a little bit of that. Um, Jehovah is means He who dwells with His children. Right. Brother Garcia taught us that. He invented, no, he didn't invent the Grand Canyon uh, 50, over 50 years ago, 51 years ago. He talked, he preached to us about that. Uh, the Jehovah means he who dwells with his children. We're going to get to that a little bit. Yeah. So here's the question. This is for a Sunday school, right? This is, uh, we're all adults here, pretty much. Uh, so my question is, under what scriptural basis can we call Jehovah God our Father. So when Jesus stands up and says, when you pray, pray like this, our Father. My, my, you know, to those that don't understand that, they could under, they could say, wow, you know, Father, how, why are we calling God our Father? He's our Creator. So here's a question. Read that with me, please. Under what, what scriptural basis can we call Jehovah God our Father? It's kind of arrogant, isn't it? I'm a son of God. That's one of the hardest statements I've ever wow. had to make in my life. Amen. It's been hard for me. Those of you that are very confident in your sonship with God, it's one of the hardest things for me to say. And even more so harder, more difficult from the platform of the pulpit. But I can say that God is my Father. Amen. Isaiah 63, 16. Prophet Isaiah wrote to us, says, Doubtless thou art our father. There's no doubt about it. Okay. Thou art our father, though Abraham be ignorant of us, our father Abraham, and Israel, we are the children of Israel, even though our Abraham, human fathers may forget us. Does it say, though, ignore us? Or be ignorant? I don't know who that guy is. <laughs> Okay, you, you say I'm your father. <laughs> you go to the clinic. Clinic. Mm, take some blood out of him. See if he is my son. I doubt he's my son. Paternity test, right? Is that what they call it? Mm -hmm. hey, though Abraham be ignorant of us, and Israel also, I'm circumcised. Doesn't matter. Give me a proof to me that you are my son. <laughs> you could, Israel could say that. But what is? I just saw that. I seen the first word there. There ain't no doubt. <coughs> Doubtless, thou art our father, though Abraham be ignorant of us. And Israel acknowledges not. Thou, O Lord, small L O R D the Just one letter scout. Lord art our Father, our Redeemer. Thy name is everlasting. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Right there, Jesus is partially quoting that. Isaiah 64, 8. Read with me. But now, O Lord, thou art our Father. We are the clay, and thou art our potter, and we all are the word of thy hand. Everybody, Satan, Lucifer, all the fallen angels, yes. the good angels, the bad yes. angels, the good and the bad and the ugly angels. Yes. As Brother Alice would say. But there are not ugly angels. Malachi 1 6. A very scolding prophet. Malachi scolded us very badly. Especially the priesthood. Wow. As Malachi 1 6 says, A son honors his father. And a servant his master. Mm -hmm. If then I be a father, where is mine honor? And if I be a master, where is my fear? Aye. Saith the Lord of hosts unto you, O priests that despise my name. Wow. We're not going to use the Lord Jesus Christ. We're going to use Father, Son, because that is the name of the Father. It's a bunch of baloney. That's the titles. How many of you are your father here? Well, oh, man. Okay. How many of you aspire to be a father? Uh, we are going to say, I want to be. Everybody wants to be a father. Every woman pretty much wants to be a mother, unless the ones that have been, you know. Yes. Uh, I'll say it like this think differently. I 
under a microscope. But they don't want to use the Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus said, in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. It's a name. There's a singular name. It didn't say names, fathers. Could have said names, Cola, Father, Son, Holy Ghost. Oh, that's oh. But they despise the name. Oh, my name you shall cast out devils. In my name you shall do this. In my name you shall do that. Not come on. But they're blind. Hopefully blind. They tell. Anyway, I'll catch you now. Read with me, please. Have we not all one Father? Yeah. Have not one God created us? Sounds like Isaiah, huh? Wow. Why do we deal treacherously, treacherously, every man against his brother? Because we don't recognize we are brothers. We don't recognize we have the same father and the same mother. Period. What does her, her, hermano mean in Spanish? From German, herman. He's from the same womb. Right. From the same mind of God. Oh, he, he's... Oh, you know, he's our brother, but you know, he's a little crazy. <laughs> he's, he's long, no, come on. We're brothers. Either call me brother. Brother Brown said, call, if you love me, call me brother. Ah, uh, leave this other epithets out of here. Kick them out of here. Kick them to the curb of the gutter where they belong. Hey, buddy. Hey, guy. Hey, man. Shut up. Call me a brother if you love me. Otherwise, you know, just say, call him what I am. How are you? Friend? I'll take friend. I can call friend too. But that's what Jesus called Judas too. So, you know, what am, if you love me, call me brother. Amen. I used to hate to hear, um, oh, that's Garcia's church. Right, right. Oh, that's Carpenter's church. Wow. Oh, that's McGreen's church. I used to hate that. As a kid, I was barely growing up in the message. I was 20, 22, 23 years old. Was, every time they do it, it's like one like this and the, the chocolate. <laughs> you ever done that to chocolate? Yes, yes, yes. yes. <laughs> As a teacher, Sister Andrea, Brother Alex, <laughs> that's the only way I could keep some, some conscious control. Sixth graders. We didn't want to teach him seventh and eighth grade. Oh, I did teach him seventh and eighth grade, but high school we wouldn't want to teach him. <laughs> but I would, you know, just get out of get out of hand once in a while and just turn my back to them and go like this. My nails. Oh, stop this. Nope. Do it again. Please stop it. And everybody said, please stop it. Okay, I don't know. I'll stop. But if you get out of order again, I'm gonna come back here again. <laughs> so they did, you know, after two, three days, a week or two, they, they get, you know, they get into the, all those evil spirits are flying around. Let's just say, let's just call it what it is. They're anointed with evil spirits. Kind of quiet, aren't you? <laughs> we forget that there are evil spirits out there. Brother Bernie yes. said, they they opened up the zoos mm -hmm. and they let them go. And they're now in school as students. You see, look at here to the right. There's a monkey over here. There's a gorilla over here. There's a whatever over here. So they're all animals. They act like animals. They're anointed with different spirits. So I will come back again. They say, okay, settle down. Five, four, three, two, one. Walk up to the light, flash it. Nothing happens. I just well, start walking briskly up when I could walk. Walk briskly to the chalkboard. And I go like, no, this really, no, 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 nope, sorry, you did it. <laughs> you owe me at least three. <laughs> you know, don't do it. But by the, by the, after the first one, they, so next time it's going to be more. Oh, no, it's real, okay. Not all, not some classes. Some classes don't got no class. Yeah. Some class, some classes have class. And the other said, I don't like that word, so I won't use that word in that sense. But they have enough. Gumption. Anybody know what the word gumption means? Literal, the bottom line word? Understanding. Gumption means understanding. 
Have not all we one Father, have not one God created us all. Why do we deal treacherously every man against his brother? My daddy doesn't like the way you treat me. Yeah. Think about that. Read it between the lines. If we have a one Father, why do we treat our brothers wrong? Is he, is he, that dad likes that guy just as much as he likes you. Just in a different way. Why do we... Why do we deal treacherously every man against his brother and by profaning the covenant of our fathers? Wow. Okay. So that's that's good enough, right? We know by scripturally we can call up heaven, our heavenly father, our heavenly father, right? Yes. We have a Old Testament authority to call Jehovah God our Father. What about the New Testament? There are too many to to have here. You, you, you read in the, in the New Testament where Paul is using the term like Heavenly Father. You know, do I have you many fathers yet? Yes, yes. I, I only have one. Uh, many teachers. Not like, how, many, how many of you ever studied that little scripture right there? Though you may have 10,000 instructors, mm -hmm. yet, yet you have not many fathers. For I have begotten you at the gospel. Wow. Beautiful. Yes, that, that, when I saw that, I had 10,000. I go, wow, that's a lot. He must be exaggerated. No. Especially for this day and age where we have many teachers. People have heap to themselves. Heaps. What does that mean? A little yeah. bit? One here, one there? No. no. Heap. They got heap to themselves. Teachers. Having itchy ears. Yes or yes? Yes. Yes. Not looking for a name in this one. Keep to themselves, teacher. But how many do you say? You may have 10,000 of them. And then you know what? When I, when I saw the scripture there in the Song of Solomon, it says, You're the fairest by 10,000. Yeah, you may have 10,000 teachers, but you only got one messenger of the age. I don't care what you say. You have 10,000 guys. I don't care how you slice it, dice it. Splice it, per, uh, what's it? parse it. What he says goes. I like what Brother Carpenter used to say. I'd rather have Brother Bannon's opinion. Well, that's Brother Bannon's opinion. Brother Carpenter would say, I'd rather have Brother Bannon's opinion than your thus saith the Lord. <laughs> that's pretty good. I like that. So we have only one father. And who was the fairest of the 10,000? The 10,000, maybe not that many here nowadays. Well, at least not. not well, maybe just in the United States when we have 10,000 10, teachers, instructors, and message. Like Brother Carver used to say, you're a cow, they're a cow, everywhere a cow, cow. Here an eighth, there an eighth, everywhere an eighth, eighth. Uh -huh. It's almost like that here in the, in the United States. And so here a teacher, there a teacher, everywhere a teacher, teacher. Mm. Oh, McDonald has a farm. Yeah. Wow. Sure. There is a fivefold ministry. There are teachers there. Amen. Yes, yeah. every <coughs> minister is given the gift of teaching the prophets. Yes, yeah, it's true. Uh, but we can call God our Father? Yes. There are 10,000 instructors, but the fairest of the 10,000 instructors, the fairest of 10,000 is was Paul in that day, and in this day, is our prophet William Brandon. Take any of his scriptures to the bank, and you get a lot of change back for paying whatever you pay for. So make sure you take a wheelbarrow. <laughs> Matthew six nine. After read with me. This is we're almost getting to the end now. After this manner, therefore pray, Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Our Father. See, we already know we can say that. We have scriptural basis. In the Old Testament, now we're getting to the New Testament. Because that's the question. Under what scriptural basis can we call Jehovah God our Father? Jesus gave us that, that permission. Says, says, when you pray, our Father was, uh, was uh, not Lucifer. What's that guy's name? The kisser? Judas. Yes. Was yes. Judas there with him? When he said yes. Yes. Yeah. But they said to him, come tell, teach us to pray. Teach us. We had the 12 already. We had a class of 12. 
What do we have here this morning? Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, thirteen. Yeah, thirteen, including me. So I guess he's just twelve of you, huh? Twelve and one. <laughs> okay, teacher. Six, eight, ten, twelve. Yeah, twelve. And one of them was a. Uh, haven't I told you? <laughs> wow. The seven you are in, haven't I told you? And one of you is a bell. I'm not talking about you now. Just talking about small group. It was a small group. You understand? It was a small group. So here's the other one. Jesus is the same thing. When and he said unto them, When you pray, say, Our Father which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, and that king that kingdom come, that will be done in heaven as in heaven, so in earth. As the brother Stephen said the other day. Uh, let that your will be done in this earth, this man. Because it's very easy to talk about the word, but when you yes. like John chapter yes, ten, man, he ate the book. Oh, so sweet. My. <laughs> How many of you sat around? You know, I'm sorry, Alex, if I say this. That's okay. How many of you have sat around for three, four, six hours just talking about the word? Oh. Overseas. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Revelation flying back above. Wow! I wish I could write all these things. Uh -huh. But then it comes time to time to live it. Uh-huh. Yeah. Hey man, come with Tiamo, brother, I love you. <laughs> but they were just talking about it. Oh, yeah. When it comes time to live it, that's when John's stomach got that here. You gotta now you have to digest it, have to make it yes. part of you. Uh -huh. That alignment. Uh, somebody said one time one of the classes I took about What's it called? Uh, stress man stress management. Yes, yes. Uh huh. They teach you how to how to that's right. How to handle stress. Right. Yes. And they, uh, the instructor was he was feeding us a lot of men. What about Eastern philosophy? I didn't know it until later. He said you must have. Uh, I'm saying that with a different accent. But he didn't. He spoke with an English accent, a U.S. accent. He said you must speak. You must have. Alignment. You must have what you have here, and what you have here come from here. As long as what comes from here is not what's coming from here, and or from here, then you have stress. Mm -hmm. Now, stay what, say what you believe. Wow. Say what you think. Right. Or if you're not going to say it, then don't think it. Or if you're going to think it wrong, then don't say it. Mm. Words have power. Yes, right. Right. And then right. if you say what you're not, if you say what you not really believe, then what does that make you a provocateur? Wow. Yes, sir. So yeah. that's anyway. Oh, I'm sorry. Let me shake myself out of that. I'm just talking. I'm just, we're just talking this morning, okay? It's good. Just a little. Right. Okay, Paul was talking to my kids. Yeah. Okay, here's here we go. Is Paul writing to Timothy? Read with me now. Right. Unto Timothy, my own son, in, in the faith. Because he talks about another father, right? And to Timothy, my own son in the faith, grace, mercy, and peace from God our Father and Jesus Christ our Lord. He's our brother. In that sense, flesh, he's our flesh brother. He's not ashamed to call them brothers. <laughs> that would be the greatest. Yes, sir. I don't care. Oh, you were this in the world, Ernie. I don't care. You were that made title in the world. I don't care. Wow. Hey, Jesus, they call me brother. Wow. Yes, sir. Amen. All right. That's God our Father and Jesus Christ our Lord. Right. The Philemon, 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 Philemon. I heard it so, pronounced so many times, so many ways. Read with me. Grace, Grace to you and peace from God, God our Father and the Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. So let's turn the corner a little bit. We're gonna start talking about something else now. When, remember it said, Lord, you are our Lord, something like that, the song this Yes, song? yes. I can tell about something to do that, but it fits good, okay. Their Lord is, which we saw was in capital, four letters, right? L-O-R-D. And then in this case, what is, that's is a type. Tetragrammaton, which is the four letters, J B H U, Y H W H, different people say different things. 
But in this case, in this scripture, read with me now. Give us this day our daily bread. In this case, our Father is also our Lord. Let's see what that means right there, okay? What does Lord mean? I had to do several searches to find it because I used to be able to just go to one source and find it, the whole definition of it. And uh, you'll understand what I'm getting to. In, in middle uh, 1300s, it's that word there. That's what they used to use for Lord in those days. They, that would, they, they would say that. <laughs> I can't even pronounce those. What it means is the master of a household. A ruler, a feudal lord, a superior, or husband. Now, this is for you to cheer up a little bit. If hope, hope it cheers you up, it doesn't make you upset. But the word lady, you know what the word lady used to mean? Bread eater. Because the bread provider, who makes the bread in your home? still the same terminology but it becomes slang right I mean I work a lot to make up I make a lot of bread <laughs> I'm sorry to break make a lot of bread I work in a very I, I work at a place where I make a lot of bread but it's a crummy job <laughs> my um, but the, the one of the original meanings of lady was bread eater because in those days it was men, men worked provided for the family and wow. the women provided for the kids in the home right there we had defined roles now it's all my well rightly so we're living in a day of babylon scripture says mm -hmm. to the church that is in babylon why peter go to the others we're in babylon babylon uh so the woman used to be the bread eater, the man was the bread provider. You're gonna see this right here. Look at, read with me now. The, just the regular English part. Master of a household, ruler, feudal, lord, superior, superior husband, husband, also God. God. Translating Latin, dominus, Greek, krios, and in the New Testament, and the Hebrew was Yahweh. That's the four letter, right? So Lord. So when you so Jesus was saying, baptize him in the name of the Lord, he was saying, Father. In other words, the other way around. He said, Father, talk about only one father, that was the Lord. You hear O Israel, the Lord thy God is one. Amen. Yes. Lord. Not two, not three. The song is goes as follows. And I remember Brother Tomas Guzman. Yes. Yes. He used to sing it, and one yeah. pastor in Brazil used to sing, Oh, I want to see them look upon their faces, <laughs> and to sing forever out of their saving graces. Right. You know, but he would get in front, in front of the sister. Santente, sentimento. If anybody has understood, I read the fundamentals of this. The Padre, the Hijo, the Spirit, because the Dios is one God. See, the Lord's revelation is not a combination. We have revelation, we understand the combination. So three say no, no, so and that's a three are in one. Yeah. Just I'm not blasting anybody's theology, I'm sorry. My dad was like that. And when a brother read a scripture, he said is I I say it like this, it's like a game of you know, binoculars, brother that type of like giving the uh -huh. you said, no, yes. I mean, you see other dad, that's I see two or three. He says, oh, you need to focus on that. He's just like, oh, it's just one. <laughs> That's what my dad says. When the guy read that scripture, pastor, that brother read that scripture, great man of God. He said, it went from his mentally, from mental, as I say it like this in my own vocabulary now, it went, it went from a horizontal revelation to a vertical revelation. It's I have one coming down, condescending. But the same one. Um, so anyway, Yahweh, ready? Here we go. That's the etymology. A continued etymology, read with me. That word is a contraction of earlier. Last word, literally, read with me. One who guards the loaves from that bread, loaf plus word, ward, keeper, ward, right? Prison ward then. Yes. Uh, 
forest warden of the forest, etc. Ward. Uh, she is my ward and protecting her. Uh, um, Glow plus word keeper or guardian. Okay, but this is the one I would look. I had to look and look for the hair upon it. Read with me, please. Uh, Lov, see, it means Lord means uh, Lov plus word. In other words, she ward. Basic senses. Read with me. Lov, Lov keeper. keeper. And then it says there, that's what I was looking for. One who I feeds. learned that about 30 years ago. One, One who, who feeds dependence. So give us this day our daily bread. We're your dependent. We're depending on you, Lord. In this case, the Father is our Lord. I'm, is this too simple? Or did I lose you in this oh, no. No. So, give us this day our daily bread. In this case, our Father is our Lord. He's the feeder of us. Man. We are His dependents. He's, you know, even to John, He's in heaven. He's standing there. I don't know what to do, what I do now. Okay, go over there and get that book. Get the loaf of bread. Get it from that guy's <coughs> hands. Take it and hey, eat man. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. John was totally dependent on that. Okay, read with me now. For well, what man is there of you whom if his son asks bread, will give him a stone? Why? Or if he asks a fish, will give him a serpent? If ye then, I, I, I put it in bold to just slap me. I've read this many times. But it just slapped me. Yes. If ye then be evil know how to give good yes. gifts to, unto your children how much more shall the father which is in heaven give good things to them that ask you amen okay here's we're going to start getting some quotes on we have we have scripture now just i can stop right here and wouldn't change anything this just gives a little bit more filling in this colors in some information read me now Let's see coming out of a space where there's nothing. Let's make it a little white light, like a mystic light, like a halo. And that was the Logos that went out of God in the beginning. Man. That was the Son of God that came out of the bosom of the Father. Remember, God is invisible, yes or no? Yes. Man. That's he God. How's he going to talk to us human beings? Amen. He wants to have children Man. here on earth. He wants to have tangible children how is he going to interface with them uh -huh. just create them and say i'm here where oh uh -huh. i want to see you god sorry oh that's not uh -huh. gonna happen so he comes he descends he comes down in the form of a hey, descends he condescends yes, what does condescend hey, mean to go from an, a superior I level to an inferior no. level yes. to be equal with inferiors oh, hey. now these inferiors think they're god man you heard an expression, the doctor has a God complex? Yes. They think they're gods. Yeah, they think they're gods. Yes, sir. That's right. The loony ones, the ones that really know there's a God and just would tell Brother Branham stuff like, Mr. Branham, we just placed the, we just fixed the break. We just set the break. God does it heal. Man. They don't heal. That's true. Oh, this magic woman, you cut your saw, you put it on there? It'll, it'll heal you. Well, bring me a corpse. Because if it'll work on flesh, that's flesh, it should heal it. If that's a healer. Well, no, no, it's a healing it's coming from the inside, of course. Oh, God, thank you. Oh, yes, man. Go quack somewhere else, doctor. Let's see the terminus. Okay, we got we did that. That was the Son of God that came out of the bosom of the Father. Now the invisible God is visible. Yes. Yes. As the light. And, that, yes. and the prophet said, if you have if you have spiritual light, you can see that light start to form. Amen. But the scientists don't see anything. They're standing there. I don't see nothing. We'll get into that later. We may have mentioned already. But let there be light. And the light came, but you couldn't see it. There's too much gravity holding the light. Remember we mentioned about that. Then finally, as a Mass gets farther and farther apart, there's less gravitation, light escapes. Uh -huh. And all of a sudden, boom, you see everything. Whoa, where did all that come from? It came from a long time ago. A long time ago back there when, he said, when God said that, there'd be light. I don't believe that. 
It just came from one spontaneous explosion. The Big Bang, we'll call it the Big Bang. The only Big Bang is in your head, the blue branch. <laughs> Because we said that in the car today, the fool says in his heart, That's there right. is no God. That's right. So everybody, every time you see somebody like that, say, I ain't no God. Oh, thank you, Mr. Fool. Bye. I don't want to get caught in, I don't want to get too close to you because then the black hole you have in your brain. <laughs> <laughs> I want to have an open I... mind, but I don't want to have an open mind so much, so open that my brain falls off. Wow. Thank you. Bye. That was the Son of God that came out of the bosom of the Father. Now the invisible God is visible, and Paul said he is the image of the invisible God. You want to see God? Look at Jesus Christ. Nice. It's right there. In the form of a halo. Halo, the pillar of fire, and then that pillar of fire came down and Man. inside there and created that flesh so that we could worship yes. that flesh. So now the invisible God became visible, yes. light, then the visible became Amen. tangible. Amen. Amen. That's what Paul says in 1 Timothy 3.16. We have seen God. Yes. Yes. Preach about God. Yes. Seen of the angels. Right. Times to touch them. Handle yes. God. Right. We have handled God. Yes, we have. Yes. Wow. Right. I'm sorry. Sorry. I didn't need to get into the God here. That's word of man. Uh, is that verse of Timothy? Forget. One first Timothy three. Oh, okay, here we go. Here, beautiful. First Timothy three sixteen. And without controversy. Yes. What's controversy? Mean? That's right. Argument. Yes. You can't right. contradict it. You believe in the Bible? Yes. And shut up after it says this. I mean, that, that, you got it. Shut up. There's no controversy. Agree with you. And without no controversy, controversy, great is the mystery, is the mystery of, of God. God. That's great. Glory. But it's simple. It's all embodied in one thing. Right? The Word was made flesh. The Word was made flesh in both months. In flesh form. You can't kill God, of course not. You can kill the flesh, though. God, that's impossible. Only believe. Don't you like that song? Yeah. yeah. That's not possible. He said, all things are possible. The flesh is possible. Because Isaiah 714. And the virgin shall conceive and bring forth the son. And shall call his name what? Emmanuel. What does Emmanuel mean? God with us. So that was God with us. The flesh, the little baby. Isaiah 9 6. Unto us a child is born, unto us a child is given. And the name shall be what? Yes. Wonderful. Counselor, Prince of Peace, Mighty God, the everlasting Father. Man, you can't get no more of God than that. Yeah. And without controversy, great is the mystery of godliness. God was manifest in the flesh. Does it say the Son of God will manifest in the flesh or God? God. God was manifest in the flesh, justified in Man. the Spirit. Amen. Peter, John, John said it. John the Baptist said, Who's the Messiah? The anointed one. It's the one the God said, Upon whom you see a spirit of God come upon you like a form of a dove. That's the one. That's the Messiah. That's because I mean, a Messiah means anointed, right? Yes, sir. Yes. Do you have any oil here, Brother Stone? Yes. To your left. I'm, I'm going to open it up, but I'm going to only fake pour. Okay. I told you to open it up, but I'm going to close it. I did tell you to close it again. Holy Spirit comes down and does this here. Go ahead, 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 go ahead. And spiritually speaking, this is the Holy Spirit. Amen. Come down all over the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. He's anointed. From the Amen. top of his head, like it says there in Psalm 130, 133 or something, so over the beard, all the way down yes. to, to Aaron. That's how Man. much he was yes. anointed. Hey, so Man. Man. Aaron Man. became the Messiah. <laughs> he was anointed one. From then on, the Man. kings were made by the Messiah. They were the anointed one. Now. So, that's not my anointed. Hey, I do my promise no harm. Amen. Hey, I wish I preach this message. But we're taking our time. That's, so he was the Messiah. He was the anointed, the Christus, the anointed <laughs> Messiah. He's anointed with oil, the Holy Spirit with oil. 
So justified in the spirit, seen of angels. That's right, man. Before we could see him, the angels saw him. <laughs> when that locust would sit down on the throne, when the prophet God called the locust the son of God, they said, they didn't say, oh, you're the son of God. I want to talk to the main man. I don't want to go through the secretary. Shut up. <laughs> he was God. When they came up, they said, they were saying, God, we saw you create this and this and that. And then it's only the theologians that get it all messed up. Like Brother Brown said, it's the teachers that cause division. Mm -hmm. That was the Son of God. Okay, let me finish this. Preached unto the Gentiles, believed on the word in the believed on in the world, and was received up in glory. Acts two, Acts yes. one. Sorry, Acts one. Wow. Twenty four. Amen. Matthew twenty eight. Uh huh. Matthew, Mark, Luke, not John. All John says is, boy, I could tell you everything he did. I'd, I'd fill up a whole world of, yes. of, of libraries, uh -huh. of books written on what Jesus did, just his thinking, his look. He walked by a guy, just looked at him, and God got up, yelling and screaming, because he was healed. We don't see those things, but that's what happened. If, 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 Paul, I'm sorry, if Paul, yes. no, Peter, I'm sorry, if Peter could walk through the street and people are just looking at him and say, and just a shadow, did he, did he pray for me, touch me? And then just a shadow would go by and heal the Lord right. Jesus, you know. All they were looking for is faith. That was the Son of God that came out of the presence of the Father. That was what is was in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. Two things, no. It's coming down. See, the Word was made flesh. Then it comes down to the form of flesh and dwelt among us. In the beginning was God. And then out of God came the Logos, a part of God that went out of God. Now, another message. That was in the, Who is God? 1950. Would that, that be 73 years ago almost? Now, God gave Himself birth to this Son. So who came first? Brother Garcia told us one, asked us a question. What comes first, the Father or the Son? And it was answered correctly. Simultaneously, the moment that the, fa the man becomes a father is when the Son is born. And the moment that the Son is born, the Father becomes a father. Does that make sense? Man. The same time. Same time. So. Okay. So let's... Uh, the said which was before there was even an Adam in the or heir to make an Adam. That was see Jesus said, "Glorify me, Father, with the glory that we had before the foundation of the world." Yes. See way Amen. back yes. yonder. That's right. Oh, the Son said, "The Father is greater than Him." Of course, the Son even here on earth had limitations. Could He go twenty-four hours for a, week, a month straight without sleeping? <laughs> He had limitations, flesh limitations, depending on what dimension he's in. Are there any limitations to God as as Elohim, the self-existing one out oh. there? No, there are no limitations. No limitations. We can't see him because we go out there, we die. Because we can't come back. It's we're just another form. And there's if he's the self-existing one, who's gonna who is he gonna allow to be with him there? Nobody. Because then otherwise there's two guys there up there in the invisible realm. It, you see what I'm saying? We have we, we would need to have three cups of coffee at least before we can get into that. Wow. <laughs> mm -hmm. See, Jesus said, glorify me, Father, with the glory that we had before the foundation of the world. See, way back in yonder. So we're talking about the Father and the Son, right? Now God gave himself birth to the Son, which was before. Look at that. I, and I know I've got rid of it and I saved it. Two of them the same thing. I got rid of one. I don't know why it's going on. My computers. I had to talk to Alexa about that. Brother Ernie. Um, okay, here's a very, very nice, very nice. Read, read with me. If you, if you uh, get confused, go home and read it. I understand it now. After 2016, seven years of trying to understand the scripture. Well, it's cool. Ready? Read with me. And put, place yourself there on Mount Zion. Look it up at Mount Zion, okay? This is, uh, I'm going to place it time-wise. Time this is in eternity. 
this is either, uh, well, I just passed the millennium after the whole world has been rejuvenated, I'll say like that. And uh, this is when we get now Revelations 21 and 22, the Lamb sits on the throne, he's the Lamb, it's the light of the world. Okay. Read with me now. On top of Mount Zion will set the Lamb, and the city will need no light, for the Lamb is the light thereof. And above the Lamb will be the Father, which is the Logos. God, the great light, the eternal light, that will shine just above, above the throne. And Jesus will not be on his Father's throne. He'll be on his throne, his throne. And the Father will hover over the Son, which the Father and the Son will be one. And while they are yet speaking, I'll answer there before they can think, I'm thinking for them. That's right. You talk about, brother, I've heard you mention the word avatar to be. You talk about it, being an avatar. That's, it's your thoughts, but you're here. You, you, you and he are one. Look, what did, what did, the, what did Brother Bam call the Father here? Will be the Father, which is the Logos. And above the Lamb will be the Father, which is the what? Did I lose you? So we start singing. Mandalayuya. I'm not I'm not mocking you. I'm not I don't have a sonor, a very sonorous voice. So who what is Brother Bram called the, the logos there? Or the father there? Agree with me. And above the lamb is the lamb, here's the throne. Upon the lamb, upon the throne is the lamb, yes? Yes. I'll stand side with you and think I'm talking about me being the father. <laughs> and the city with, for the lamb is the light throne. And above the lamb, sitting on the throne, remember, will be the father. The father. This is the lamb, this is the throne, this is the lamb, this is the father, right? Yes. Which is, Which the is the what? Logos. Is this the locus? Yeah, yes. The locus. Yes. 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 Which brother Brad Peter calls the father. Yes. That's why I told you to when you're seven years to get this. And that was and that was the logos, what? A little white light, yes or no? Yes. Yes. That was the son of God that came out of the bosom of the Father. Yes. I thought you said over here, Brother Bam, that that's his father. Yeah. So I scored good homework for you, okay? Uh do you want the PowerPoint? I said it to you. Okay. That was shine just about that the logos, which is the logos. Will be the Father, which is the Logos. God, read with me now. God, the great light, the eternal light that will shine just yes. above the throne. You get it? Yes. <laughs> you can't see the Father, but He's there yes. in the form of the Son because yes. He condescended down from a very, it's an infinitely superior yes. level to wow. come down to a form of a of a logos, yet all the power is in that logos. Nice. That is his. Oh, there goes Brother Alex. Huh? I didn't know Brother Alex was a white pickup. Are you are you a white pickup, Alex? No, no. You drive a white pickup. Yes. So when you're <laughs> in your car, so my, my car, it's your the pickup's one back, but it's not you. No. It is you, but if you're inside. Okay. Man. Man. That's the locus. Is the locus God? No. It's the Son of God. Wait, wait, wait. Well, well why are you calling it God then? Because it's, that's the visible part. Oh, God. I want to see God. Oh, the look at the Father. Jesus said, the Father and I are one. Yes. Amen. I want to see the Father. Show us the Father and it suffices. Well, Amen. look at me. How do I know I've been with you? You don't know who I am? Nah. I'm the Father. The Father and I are one. Uh -huh. You want to hear me? You want to hear the Father talk? This is what I'm saying. Because the word that I speak, I'm not speaking of myself. This flesh is saying, huh, uh, uh, I hurt. Huh, <laughs> I, 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 I
I'm not saying nothing. This guy is not saying anything. The words that I'm speaking to are speak, being spoken by the intelligence that's in me, yes or no? Nah. nah. My spirit, yes or no? My soul. You're just seeing this guy. Have you ever seen Ernie Barunda? Have I ever seen Brother Alex really, really, really? No. It's boring, I know. That's okay. We've been taught the following. That you'll never see me, just like we'll never see God. You'll see the house that I dwell in, mm -hmm. but you'll never see me. You see the spirit leave, the, the wow. soul leave. That's just the, the spirit, which is in the spirit form. But what's inside, the real him is inside that. It's a seed of God, a little gene from God, a little piece of God. And God is infinite, invisible. You cannot see his sons. <laughs> Unless they take some form of apparition. What does theophany mean? Theo, find me. So what does theophany mean? The appearance of a God. The, that which you can see of the God. And maybe my time is gone. Oh no, I'm sorry, but see, see, but I got still says 15 minutes. Here. <laughs> okay, can I start it now? <laughs> no way. Okay, no way. That'll shine. That great light. God, the great light. Read with me. This is Man. too much. This is the answer in the, in the statement here. Yes. And above the Lamb yeah. will be the, the Father, Father, which, which is, is the Logos. Logos. God. Uh, the, the great, great light, light, the eternal, eternal light, light that shall shine, shine just, just above, above the throne. In, in the Jesus. world where God is, He is light. But yes. you can't see Him because He's in the dimension we can't see. He's That's invisible. Right. That's right. You can't see Him. The only time we can see Him is when He comes down so He can show it. But if you were to see Him, you would die. It's just total, total, imagine this. Yes. Total energy. That's right. A zillion quadrillion bombs blowing up yes. all the time. And that's just, you start to see the essence of him, not him. Because he's infinitely more powerful than all that. Man. He's infinitely more present, ever present Man. than that. He's infinitely more knowledgeable than that. Yes. He knows more than us. What about Brother Ben call us? Peanut brains. Yes. Bird brains. And we think we know so much? Yes. Pompous. Elvis. Yeah. Read with me now. And above the Lamb will be the Father, which is the Logos, God, the great light, the eternal light that will shine just above the throne. And Jesus will not be on his Father's throne, he'll be on his own throne. And the Father will hover above the Son, which is the Father, and the Son will be one. And they'll, uh, they're, uh, while they are yet speaking, I'll answer before they can think. I'll, I'm thinking for them. That's right. We're all just a word. Brother Brad, will I recognize my mother? Of course you will. You recognize every mother. Oh, that's nonsense, Brother Brad. Can you imagine saying to Brother Brad, that's nonsense, Brother Brad? The sh I would say to the shut up. Why ask questions for? Shut up. Don't ask questions. That would be me. And he said, no, 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 brother. You'll recognize every mother. You'll recognize everybody. But, I, but look, Peter, James, and John had never seen Moses and Elijah, but it, under that inspiration, it's all, it's that yes. inspiration. Yes. Oh, no, I think it's inspiration. But under that inspiration, they saw him, saw them, and they recognized, that's Moses, that's Elijah. They're not guessing. Oh. They knew it. Because they're under, they're under that anointing that presence that that's right but you know it began to get evening time the sun was setting and he said this is i'm finishing now and he said sweetheart we must go up to the cathedral this is adam and the woman talking okay adam and eve before she was eve she was called eve and he said adam said sweetheart we must go up to the cathedral we've got to worship it wasn't a denomination it was in a great big forest. Wow. And they went up and knelt down as the sun was going down. Amen. And the father came down, it's the father, love this. I hope I don't break down crying. It's beautiful, read with me now. So I'll tell me on it. The lightning splashed, the thunder roared, and a beautiful, beautiful majestic light sailed over the bushes 
I can hear the loving voice of the Father of Logos say, Children, have you enjoyed yourself today? Come to Aga to kiss your sister and lay you down for the night and a kiss upon the cheek of Adam and a kiss upon the cheek of Eve. Can you put your can you put yourself there? Can you put yourself there? The guard of me? And the Father of God comes down, gives Adam a cheek of kiss cheek of Adam and a kiss on the cheek of Eve. And as he lays his big arm, this is Adam now, lays his big arm up and she lays her head down, head, little dainty head upon his arm as a pillow. They went to sleep. And they went to sleep. Man. And perfect. Boy. Nothing could bother them. Amen. Father like is watching over them. There's nothing in the earth to harm them. The other lion lays down here. She of the tiger lays there. Man. He laid them all down. Father. If that isn't wonderful. Yes. No, that's in, that's in 57. This is in from, uh, from uh, 58. I did, I did a double again. I'm sorry. I apologize. And, and that halo was hanging yonder in the bushes. See, I can hear a voice speak down the city. Has my children enjoyed themselves upon the earth today that the Lord thy God has given thee? Hey, Lord, we have enjoyed ourselves today. Have we, darling? Yes, yes, dear, we have. Lord, we sure appreciate you. Now I lay me down to sleep. See, and he lays his big arm on, and she lays down his, on his arm, and she and he lays the tiger down, the lion down, and everything down to sleep. So peaceful. So God comes out and he brings down. Oh, this is read with me now. <laughs> this is good or good. He brings down oh a bunch of angels, Gabriel, his creation of heaven. So they come down and they tiptoe real easy into the bedroom. And God is in there. See, look around. Gabriel said, "Come here, Father. Come here. Look here. Here he is. Here, here lays your children laying here." How many of you went to the bedside? Some of you mothers. You and your dad together look at the little boy, the little girl, and you just remind one another, don't he look like you this way or that way? Did you ever do that? Right, many times I go and say to me to say about Joseph, she'll say, Bill, he's got a high forehead like you. <laughs> yeah, but Mita, he's got big guys like you. Yeah. Why? He's a part of our product. He's a product of our, our union. And now, and father said, can you can can you can can say this about this? Said you know, and Gabriel said you know he looks like you. <laughs> That's how God looks. Look at yourself. Can read that with me? How many can believe this? And Gabriel said, let's start with. That's how God looks. Ready? That's, That's how God, God looks. looks. Look at yourself. So That's God how God looks. looks. He looks, looks like, like you. you. You're his offspring. offspring. How many knows that? that? See, this is uh, something I did. I did a long time ago, but I did it again for this purpose today. When you get to the Bible, Elohim. When you say the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth, and God said, "Let there be light." Right? Yes. The word there in Hebrew is just Elohim, and it's used twenty-eight times in the first chapter the second chapter it's used three times elohim in chapters one uh, two and three only but notice the transition genesis chapter two you're going to see the quote in a little bit the lord god jehovah the lord god said the lord god said such as said the lord god did that two words now lord god that's Amen. really saying in hebrew jehovah elohim 11 times in chapter two or verses 24 to 25 Agree with me. The reason why I say this is I'm getting to the last part now, so you'll understand. Fatherhood of God. But in Genesis 2, when he made man, he said, I am Yahoo, Yubu, Yahweh. 
Jehovah, what did it mean? Read with me now. I am the all-existing one who has created something off of myself to be a son of a vine, or a temporary or an amateur little one of mine. Glory, why? He gave man. Jehovah means, here it is. He gave man to be an amateur God because he is Father God. He made a man an amateur God so he isn't self-existence anymore. He exists with his family. Allah. Allah. Elohim. Now, now, now he is Jehovah. Jehovah meaning. What does Jehovah mean? The one who exists with his family. Now God made a man to be a predominant over all the earth. He had dominion and the earth was man's dominion. Is that scripture? Then if that's his domain, he was God over the earth. He could speak and it would be so. He could speak this and it would be so. Oh, there he is. Jehovah God, the one who once existed in self-existence, but now exists with his family and his little ones with him. There you are. Let's stand this. That's the Father's good job. Jehovah. So, when we pray, our Father, I, I learned to pray the Lord's Prayer every day. One of my prayers that I do, I will say, Our Father, Jehovah God, you who dwell with your children, hallowed be your name, Lord Jesus Christ. I try to use as much understanding as I do when I say the Lord's Prayer. I think that pleases God. Same thing when I pray and I recite them. Psalm 23, the Lord is my shepherd. Man, yes. wow. Wow. Starts us off as a little sheep and he goes on to the end. It munch my head with oil. You don't anoint sheep. <laughs> you anoint a human being. He takes us from a sheep all the way to a human. Now we'll dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Let us pray. Thank you, Father God. Along this week and this morning. Thank you, Father, for the little insight that you gave me today. Your word here. Help us to think about it, develop what we heard today about you being our Father. Jehovah God. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you for your, your attention. See, thank you. Sir. the Lord a clap offering. How many enjoyed the word? Man, man. it was awesome, man. 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 <laughs> We'll be singing the old rugged cross. Yeah. You may be seated if you like. On a hill far away stood an old rugged cross.
Heavenly Father. Heavenly Father. watching on you, YouTube or Facebook that needs a touch from the Lord and do not know Him as their Heavenly Father. Yes. Will you raise your hands, yes. those that are watching, yes. and receive Him as your yes. Heavenly yes. Father? Yes. Heavenly Father, Lord, we come before you, Lord Jesus. For those that are watching on the YouTube, yes. Yeah. on Facebook, Lord, no matter what means they may happen, Lord. Those that do not know you as the Heavenly Father, Lord, and they just don't know how to trust, Lord Jesus. Yeah. Maybe their heart has been broken and they're fearful of their heart being broken once again, Lord Jesus. Lord, but you came, Lord, to shine light in those that were in darkness, yeah. to heal the brokenhearted, yeah. to open the prison doors to those that are in prison. Yeah. Lord, you're still Jesus Christ, the same yesterday, today, and forever. Those that are here and do not really know you as their Heavenly Father and haven't given them their heart, Lord Jesus, Lord, may they raise their hand, Lord Jesus. 
If they can't get both hands in sign of surrenderance, may they at least raise one hand, Lord Jesus. Yeah. Lord, that you'll see their effort, Lord Jesus. Yeah. And continue that work in their heart, Lord Jesus. Yeah. Mend their broken hearts, Lord Jesus. Yeah. Fill them with your bread of life, Lord Jesus. Your Holy Spirit, Lord Jesus. Lord, touch their bodies and their minds, Lord Jesus. Lord, we ask that you give them strength, Lord. We ask for a special blessing for everyone here, for every father, Lord, for every son, for every daughter, for everyone, Lord Jesus. Lord, we thank you, Lord, for being our Heavenly Father. We thank you for being our counselor, our Prince of Peace. That's what you are. If they don't have no peace, be their peace, Lord Jesus. If they don't have a father, be their father. If they don't have a mother, be their mother, Lord Jesus. Whatever we have need of, you are Jehovah Jireh, who provideth all that we have need of, Lord Jesus. Lord, take that anxiety, Lord Jesus. Take that nervousness. Take that insanity. Take whatever people are being tortured and bothered with, Lord. Tormented by the devil. Satan, you are a liar. We rebuke you from their minds and their bodies. Yes. You've been exposed. Yes. You're a bluff. Yes. You're just a tormentor. Yes. We don't receive what you're trying to give us. We don't receive what you're trying to say about us. Yes. We want to hear what the Word of God says about us. Yes. And we're going to stick to it and believe what God says about us. Yes. Lord, we thank you for all things, Lord Jesus. Lord, we ask that you help those that are watching, those that are here, Lord. Strengthen the mothers and fathers, Lord, for we need it, Lord Jesus, in this day, Lord. We love you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Service is canceled tonight. Spend the rest of this, this Sunday with your family and be safe. May the Lord richly bless you. On behalf of Missionary Outreach Ministries, we love you. May the Lord richly bless you. May He give you and provide your needs. Amen. Not your wants, your needs. Amen. According to His Word and according to your faith. Amen. Amen. Yes. Let us sing, take the name of Jesus with you and you're dismissed. Happy Father's Day. Take the name of Jesus with you.